Now, nine times out of ten, seeing something or someone die is not enjoyable nor funny. But this is the one time that it is, though. What's going on, everybody? It's the granddad of Granddad Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews Game Data. We got a mobile game review today. We're going to be talking about a new game that just hit the streets. It's a sequel to a popular game that I was actually a big fan of. And I'm glad to see that they brought it back for another round. And they're going to add more shit to it and gave it a theme. Let's just get right into this shit. Talking about the game, Dumb Ways to Die to the Games. Crazy title. Now, Dumb Ways to Die 2 is the sequel to the original Dumb Ways to Die, which was a game that was kind of weird in a way. You were these little figure things that you see here, and basically it was just a round of mini games where you had to survive. They was the, all these creative ways that these things could die, and you had to do things at a certain pace and certain speed, and if you didn't do it, your character died. And you got three chances for the character to for your character to survive before you completely lost, and you had to get a high score. So it's pretty much a high score, high fast paced mini game series where you just do a whole bunch of random shit. That involves these things graphically dying or you saving them from graphically dying. So, Dumb Ways to Die 2 carries on that tradition on a much larger scale. Now, what separates this game much more from the original Dumb Ways to Die is that it is very much more expanded. It actually has its own theme. The games part of the title is actually sort of like a play on the Olympic Games. There is an actual map now. In the first game, there wasn't really a map or anything. So you would just play these random games um, that they chose at random. It was about 18 of them. And then, you know, you just kept playing those same games. Here, they've actually broken it up. There's about 10 more games about 28 games this time and they're actually broken up into different sections where you would get to actually travel via a train and then there's also an area there where you kind of do a sort of like a competition type thing where you actually play all the games more of the traditional dumb ways to die format and you use it you have to use tokens or little tickets that you have to actually buy i don't think you can earn them i haven't seen if you can earn them yet but for the most part the game really centers around the high score aspect of gaming sort of like that traditional arcade style where you just have to play the game and then the highest score is pretty much the biggest payoff for the game they also have this worldwide scoreboard or leaderboard to see who's the top player in a specific section or the entire game and there's also little side mini games in between the actual games when you're traveling through the train so i'm going to stop all the talking i'm going to show you guys actually what the game looks like how it plays and play some mini games you're going to see me try to get a high score my high score right now is like a thousand something so let's see if i can try to beat it so let's do this all right guys here is dumb ways to die 2 we're going to play a little bit and show you what it's like it's the home screen so let's go to the main map now this is the main map. Like I told you, it's broken into four different sections, um, depending, and that's where all the different mini games are. So we have Drown Town here, which is more of the water games. Um, Dum Dome is more of the summer track and field type games. Freezerville is the winter type games, and then they have Adrenaline, um, which says under construction. So I don't know what games those are going to be, but hopefully they drop that soon. And then Dumbest of the Dumb in the top middle is sort of like a area where it kind of combine all the games from all the sections. And you go to this section when you want to unlock another character, and um, it costs the tickets. Now, you, they give you tickets off top, but um, you have to get more by paying actual money to get them. So, we're going to start off just, you know, to play a couple mini games. We'll go to Dumb Dome first. And when you go and travel, you actually have a little mini game that you have to play. And it actually tells you what to do. There's a bar on the top that the black bar that goes from right to left and you know that's sort of like your timer to get your tax tasks done so now let's uh, actually play some real mini games all right we're gonna do the javelin or no the uh the fucking shot pool whatever to call that shit all right and you get a hundred okay you gotta tie his shoe up before he runs or he's gonna trip on his shit okay and then there's the real small little mini games but i'm gonna do a tap He's running with scissors and shit like that. They give they give you reasons to think, okay, this is how this person would die if I fuck up. And that's an electric fucking hurdle fence. But I'm about to kill this right now. But eventually, and it gets faster and faster as the game goes. Like, you have to avoid the javelins because they're trying to throw them at you. Like that. Got a Jamaican dude. Okay. Pass the actual goddamn stick of dynamite and that motherfucker just blew up. All right, I'm doing pretty good right now. Okay, uh, pole vault, pole vault. Got to get in the, in the... Oh, fuck, I messed up. He's going to fucking fall. Uh, he just got fucking electrocuted. Okay, another one of the... Uh, come on, spin it, spin it, spin it faster. Spin it faster. Go, go. Got it. Okay. Killing it right now. Killing it right now. 
Okay, now this one I hate. You gotta balance out the phone. Fuck. I always fuck up on that one. Okay, here we go. Another one of the shoe tie shit. And it's faster and I'm freaking out. Go, go. Run your ass off. Here we go. 800. Mm. Fastest in the world. Okay, more jab. And like I said, because there's a limited amount of games in each section, you kind of end up playing the same games over and over again, just at a way, way faster pace. And fuck, I just got electrocuted. I got, I got fucking electrocuted so many times in here. So that is one of the sections now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the map. And we're going to go to the actual dumbest of the dumb section where it's more of a randomized thing. And hopefully I don't suck because they actually make the games harder in this section. So let's travel over there. I'm going to show you this last one. And let's see if I can beat my high score of 1300. And um, I can't let my limbs get fucking destroyed in there. And these little mini games in between are like, you know, things to pass the time, give you little bonuses. But they're never really as hard as the actual games that you actually have to play. So here we go. Dumbest of the dumb. My best score is 1308. And I have to get, okay, close the door. All right. Oh, no. Here we go with the electric hurdles again. Off the top. Jump. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Killing it. I just started, but I said I'm killing it. Okay, faster. Here we go. Okay, now I gotta dive in the pool. Michael Phelps, I fucking missed. I was almost there. Too soon. Okay. Javelin. Move. Move. Nice. Alright. I'm kinda mad I fell in the pool still. Okay, here we go. I gotta walk to the pool. If I go too fast, he'll slip and fall and break his shit. Got it. Okay, slap fight with the penguin, bitch. All right, I like the slap fights with the penguin. Okay, now I gotta get my, I gotta get my ice skater on. Okay, here we go. It's my Blades of Glory moment right here. Where Will Ferrell at? All right, six hundred. Don't lick the pole. You just don't do shit. Don't lick the pole. It's the temptation game. They give you one of those temptation games where they say, okay, I want to do it, but you're not supposed to. Okay, vault. Here we go. Ah, I'm too fucking soon. Damn. Is that my life? Okay, I got one more life to go. Okay, I got to groom the Yeti. Flick off the bugs. Flick them, flick them, flick them. Oh, and I just fucking got killed. So that's pretty much how the game... Oh, and here is this shit. Now, this is the Wheel of Misfortune. I've played this, and there's no way to win. You have to spin the wheel, and it's either you get you land on something, which I never have, or the motherfucker gets a knife to the forehead. So let's see what happens. Do I win? Oh my god, I actually won. Oh, I get to play again. That's the first time I've actually won. Usually he gets a knife to the forehead. So let me let's play again. Why not? Come on. Let's out swim some piranhas. I'll swim some piranhas. Let's go. I'm feeling good about myself. I just won something. Okay, pass the dynamite stick. Go. All right, and the animation on here is really cool. I like the animation. It's very, though it's very simplistic, it's very, very um, emotion-based. You can tell, like, you know, you can see how it's drawn well. It's, it reminds me of, like, a, a lot of a cartoon. Oh, okay, ride the dolphin. Ride that shit. Oh, my God, I just got attacked by dolphins. Okay, come on. Swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it. Nice. Got them skills. All right, I mean, this may be my... Oh, here we go. Redemption time. Michael Phelps in the pool. Okay. Faster Earth. Oh, here we go. This is what fucked me up. Okay, just get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. One more. Got it. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Redemption. Close the doors. Close the doors. All of them. All of them. Those are the easy ones. I like those. It's the... Uh... Okay, unless your hurdles. Shit, I wasn't even ready. I just got fucked. Okay. I got one more life. Okay, avoid them from getting past the the buoys. And I just fucking fucked it. He's gone. Cast away. Cast away too. All right. Here we go. Uh, can I get another will? Of, no, I don't get another will of misfortune. Okay, so that's going to be the for the game. I didn't beat my high score, of course. But that's Dumb Ways to Die too. It's a real cool, fast-paced minigame. And, you know, 
I think it's something you guys should check out. So I hope you enjoy this gameplay. So as you can see from the gameplay, it's a very unique setup and everything like that, but it's also very, very close to how the original Dumb Ways to Die was. I really like the animation of it. It really reminds me of a Cartoon Network type of animation, like a, a cartoon that would be on that channel is like how they did this. And it's surprisingly graphic, which is a crazy part about it. It looks so nice and, and friendly and colorful, but yet it's so vividly graphic with the depths, which makes that appeal to it. It's hilarious too. You know, I like the animations and the emotion that the characters all give off. And just, you know, the way that each game has its own little bit of a personality and the fact that it's so fast paced. The only thing that's a real drawback to the game is that um, when you're playing the games for your first go around, if you really don't know how to do something, you really don't have time to find out, kind of learn. So we kind of end up losing a life trying to figure out how to, to, to complete a certain game or a certain task. You'll get to it at some point, but that's one thing that kind of frustrates me. It's kind of how it was in the first one, so it's still here. And the only other thing about it is the fact that there's limited amounts of mini games. Now, I know they've expanded the amount of games from the first game, but even still, by playing it so much, you do get used to the games. It sort of does get kind of repetitive. It's still fun, but you, you kind of want to play more mini games. So I hope they do expand it more. I'm pretty sure they will because it's a new game. There's actually another section that I think they said is under construction on the map. So I know that's going to bring more games and more fun to the game. So I hope I can get at least a good 40 to 50 total games in the actual, you know, Don't Waste It 2. That would make it a really solid game. But for the most part, I'm enjoying the game. It's a great expansion on the original. It keeps what was working for the first game in this game, and it adds to the things that were sort of the uh, hindrances to it, for the most part. Some things, no, but, I mean, you know, not everything is perfect. But, for the most part, this is a really solid game. I like it. I'm glad that they came out with a sequel with it. I didn't expect that, so it was really a surprise to know that they did. And I'm enjoying the game, and it's really fun. So if you're into the fast-paced, multiple mini-game type games like this, this is a very unique and awesome game that I think you should check out. And the fact that it's got the colorful, cartoonish to it, cartoonish aspects to it is what I meant to say, on top of the actual vivid graphic depths that they have here, it just kind of makes that perfect blend that makes it not kitty, but it is a kiddie type game so it's not a game that you probably want to play for your kids but at the same time kids will probably still play because they think it's really cool so for the most part i don't really much to say about dumb ways to die 2 the games other than it's pretty damn good and funny and graphic so my final verdict i'm not saying that dumb ways to die 2 the games is an all-around solid sequel to an already great original game you get a lot of mini games they've expanded it well it's still fun still fast-paced and it still has that cartoonish aspect all I'm saying is that for a free game, it gives you a unique perspective on the mini game genre. It's not just your traditional thing. It's very creative. It's very, you know, entertaining watching you play this game as well as, you know, seeing what happens when you succeed or if you fail. And, you know, you kind of get addicted to this game. And the fact that, you know, it's a high score type game, you want to get that high score, at least, you know, be able to, you know, know that you're in a top level percentile you know of doing this game because it is a very popular game i think it's at 10 million downloads already and the original game was at 50 million so they're doing numbers so nothing more to say but if you're looking for a dope very unique some of the kind of graphic fast-paced mini game type mobile game dumb ways to die to the games may be up your alley so for me all i have to say is that this game that i just said the title to is long as hell so i'm not going to say it again is 100 percent granddad approved so definitely check it out. It's free. It's available on the Android and the iPhone stores. So you know you can go check those out right now, download them. And if you want to buy extra tickets and all that other shit that they make you buy, you know, to get extra expansions, it's there too. You know me, I don't buy that shit. But for the most part, what you get out of the game is great. It's solid, and I know they're going to expand more on it. So I'm going to be playing this for a while. Nothing more to say. Dumb ways to die too. The games is granddad approved. Flip it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of Dumb Ways to Die 2, the games, if you've played it. If you haven't played it yet, like I said, it's a free game. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. If you like the mini game thing, very graphic. And, you know, the way these mofos die is pretty damn funny, too. Previous video was on the side, as well as my music video. Check those out. Show them some love. And, as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Buttons on the screen. Button below. Will Reviews twice a week. And don't forget, Gaming with the Granddad, my gaming channel is up now. I got videos, Dying Light videos that are hilarious. Um, I just put out today, I think, a Super Smash Bros. video. Yeah, that is fucking hilarious. All my videos are fucking funny, and I play pretty good games. I mean, hey, what do you got to say? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Play it. Subscribe to that channel and this one, too. So, nothing more to say. So until next time, I take my leave. Granddaughter.
Dumb Ways to Die 2. The Games. I'm out of here.